What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rye Collects and I know I said it in my last video but happy new year everybody and I thought what better way to begin the new year with showing my greatest pickups of last year. 2022 was a crazy year. Uh, we made a switch to sports from doing Pokemon for a whole year prior or eh, not a whole year maybe just a few months. Move the camera a little bit there sorry about that. And um, yeah so I kind of wanted to just to show my best pickups so far after been collecting sports since late February and uh, it all began at TriStar Houston which I will be set up February 3rd through 5th I will be set up uh, as a vendor hopefully I see you all there if you're in the Houston area around that time if not make it out it's always a great show as I'm kicking stuff around but yeah let's get right into it this is in no particular order this is just my favorite stuff that I have acquired um, in the year 2022 uh, it's gonna be all sports here because we haven't done Pokemon in a long time but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And uh, with one of my most recent acquisitions, we have the Takumi uh, Minamino from Prism World Cup. This is just the national landmarks for Japan. Got this on a break. Uh, came in terrible condition, but it's PC. Because, um, yeah, I love how this card looks. Um, and it was special to get it in a break for really cheap. I've never really gotten a case hit from a break. And, um, yeah, it was super awesome to get. I'm still shocked that I got it because I paid very little money. I don't remember how much, but very little. Next up here, coming from, uh, we're switching to baseball now. And it's going to be a little bit of everything in this break. Uh, I think mostly basketball, though. Or not break. Stupid. In this video, uh, it's going to be mostly basketball, but I do have a little bit of baseball. And you probably saw this in my last opening uh, yeah, so this is from this year's update, 2022. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. I think there's one of those little cool chrome freckles on the right here. You have to look really close to see it. Uh, this is Jordan Alvarez, obviously. is all-star X-Fractor out of 125. Yeah, I really thought I got this for a really good deal on eBay. I got it at like 3 in the morning. Nobody outbid me, surprisingly, even though I just bid and went to sleep. Um, it's super cool. I love the X Fractors, and of course, being an Astros fan, uh, yeah, what better player to get? Especially how well he played for the whole season. Speaking of Astros, got another one here. We have Jeremy Pena on the purple refractor from um, Heritage High Number. Sorry about that. And this is not a scratch. This looks like a hair from the guy I purchased it by from eBay. So that's really cool. Gave us a piece of him. Uh, to bring with the cards so that's always nice really thoughtful but uh, yeah I love these uh, refractors and Pena's a beast uh, definitely trying to get pick up you know pick up some more of him so if you have any you want to give me a deal on please let me know I'm always interested always looking around next up here there's gonna be a guy that has I think like four cards in this video and these are some stuff that you haven't seen yet and so let's just get right into it as you may know if you've been here before, if you haven't, you're about to learn. Uh, a guy I PC is Chris Paul. And this was a gift from my dad. This is a one-of-one -one printing plate from, what year is it? 2016 Flawless. Uh, I needed something of him in a Clippers uniform, and what better way than a one-of-one? -one? And you say what you want about printing plates, but it is a one-of-one, -one, guys. So, yeah, uh, this is... Not my favorite Chris Paul card. That's going to be shown probably at the end, but it's up there because I don't I don't have a single one of one until now. So yeah, speaking of Chris Paul, sneaker spotlight from this year's one and one. Uh, this is super cool. I wish these were autographed. I really wish these were autographed. Speaking of one and one, I have a timeless moment blue as well as of Chris Paul, and it is a redemption. I know they're all signed for a fact because I see them on eBay and I redeemed mine on Christmas Day and still says in progress. So, and I've been calling every day, haven't been able to speak with anybody at Panini. So, I don't know when I'm getting that card. And I really hope to get it because I really want to show it. That is not a scuff on the thing, it's just a scuff on the plastic it's in. Actually, we can, we can just go ahead and take it out so we can get a better view. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Are you kidding me? And these are all just smudges on there. I think my this is another gift from my dad because we both just kind of 
give each other <laughs> cards and stuff for Christmas. And yeah, so he knows I'm a Chris Paul guy. And uh, next up, we're going right back to baseball for these next two cards. My favorite baseball player in the whole world, Mr. Shohei Otani. I love Topps Heritage, guys. I want to rip some still. And it looks like hobby prices are shooting down even more to, I think, like $60 a box on eBay. So, yeah. But we're running it back with a Topps Chrome update. I think Monday or Tuesday we're going to be running it back with two Megas this time. I got a really good deal on some just so we could try and get some better pulls. And uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll get some high number. You guys let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, Otani, Beast. Had this card before, traded it, had to get it again. Had to have this back in my PC to never let go. I mean, awesome card. I definitely want more Otani rookies. Still in baseball here. This is a pickup I got a couple months ago. It is a 1956 Grayback SGC1, Mr. Hank Henry Aaron. Uh, super cool. I think I've said it before. I just really wanted a vintage card in my lineup of PC. <laughs> and what better one to get than one of the goats? Uh, super cool. I love these old cards. I do want to include this in a trade maybe if I can get my hands on the Jackie Robinson from I believe it's 54? Mm, I don't know. Actually, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting what year it is. I think it's 54. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll get back to y'all on that. But yeah, I I really want that Jackie Robinson. But this, I mean, this is the oldest thing in my collection, and it would take a lot for me to let that go. Next up here, we're going to move away from slabs just for one last card. Cards, plural. And this is going to be all of one. If you watched my um, H-Town Card Show vlog, you saw at the end or afterwards that we picked up a whole refractor set and it looks like my camera shut off there guys that's really crazy okay we're back that was really weird it looks like my camera just shut off it's never done that before camera's been weird lately if you notice i've had to do some videos without it so i'm gonna have to figure that out but yeah so we got a i think this is 98 this is 96, sorry about that. So this is a 96 Topps Finest Refractor set. Uh, these are the Super Team Champions variants because I think there's a ton of different variants. And yeah, we have every single one here. All, what is it, 22 of them. And yes, that even includes, if we can find number M14 here, Michael Jordan. Refractor. I really want to grade the whole set, but a lot of these aren't in the best conditions because if you watch the video, if you didn't, I got it from a very old man who had these all in a binder, which is a huge no-no, that have been sitting in storage since 1996. And I had to clean all these individually, and I think it took like over an hour to clean all these. And yeah, so there's a couple freckles and all that fun stuff in here. But still, it's so cool to have the whole set. I never want to get rid of it, but for the right price, I would. But, um, yeah, it would be really hard, though, because having all these refractors of the best versions, oof, it's really pleasing to look at. Next up here, moving into another PC item. This is RJ Bear from 2019. This is a rookie, and this is numbered out of 50. And actually, the original Heritage Otani that I had, I included in a deal for this card so it all comes full circle I have them both now uh, I would love to put this in a PSA slab because I like them a little more than Beckett a little more skinnier but I will not complain I really wish this was a 9.5 I think it could I mean the centering top to bottom is a little lazy but other than that super clean card I think I've shown this in a video before whenever I did my Knicks PC video or maybe just my PC in general I don't remember but yeah out of 50 I believe yeah it's four out of 50 disco or fast break whatever yeah love the card love rj i'm still an rj believer uh i don't know if you can see over there right there my girlfriend actually got me an rj barrett signed jersey for my birthday back in september and i have some autograph cards in there that have never been shown but i didn't want to take them out of the case or the display to mess it up 
but they're there. And yeah, really excited. I'm a, I'm a huge RJ believer. I always will be. I, uh, I, I could do a whole video talking about RJ Barrett, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that today. Next up here, we have another Chris Paul card. You guys know this one. This is probably, this is maybe one of my favorite cards. This might be the favorite card, or at least it was until I got uh, one of the cards that you're about to see. 2018 Kaboom, PSA 9. Love the card. It has dropped in value because this guy hasn't been playing the greatest. He's been kind of having to carry since Booker's been injured a little bit. Hall of Famer. Uh, top four, maybe three point guard of all time. That's kind of that's kind of tough to say. Don't hate me for it, but I'm a little biased because this is my guy. But yeah, kabooms, love them. I want to pick up some more, but they're so expensive, so expensive, and especially like the rookies and stuff. It'd be tough. It'd be tough. It'd be tough because I mainly trade, but I don't know. Maybe I'll buy another one if there is another Chris Paul kaboom. I think there is. It's the Excalibur Clippers. I really want that one. If you have that, I'm interested. Let me know. I'm real interested. Yeah. Next up here, we have two cards that are going to be from the same set. We'll start with the first one. This is a PSA 8, 2008 Tops LeBron James. This is the best LeBron James card I have in my collection. It's not anything expensive, nothing crazy, but I do love the 2008 Tops set. I really love this whole look that we got going on. This isn't a scratch on the slab, it's a scratch on the bag. This is a really crappy bag I have it in. But yeah, love the card. Not really sure how it got an 8. I think the bottom right corner is a little if, or no, it's the left. It's a little soft, but I don't think it's 8 worthy, but whatever. They do probably grade a little harder on these LeBron cards or LeBron cards in general. Really big fan of this card. I bought it on whatnot. And the next one is a 2008, same set. Has LeBron on it, but also more importantly, it has Kobe and it's a 9. It's a nine. Uh, this card ranges anywhere from sales of ninety dollars to, I think one time I saw it go for two fifty, like a month and a half ago, which is crazy how much this varies. But this is an iconic card. It's probably one of the most iconic basketball cards, if not sports cards in general of all time, just because it has two of some of the greatest players of all time. Some people may say one of these guys is the greatest player of all time. Uh, I'm Team Jordan, but. Opinion is opinion, and this card is iconic. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this card unless it's for a 10. If you have one, I don't have enough money. I'm not interested. Give it to me instead. But, um, shoot, yeah, this card's just awesome. And I did this video mainly just to show my most recent pickups because I don't have the amount of pickups for me to do a full mail day. I think uh, next week I will because I got into some baseball breaks. And maybe we'll show some new stuff on there. Maybe not. I don't know. Last card of the whole video. Uh, this is my my favorite card in my whole collection. This is something I 110% will never get rid of. And that is 2006 E-Tops McDonald's All-American Autograph Chris Paul PSA 9 Auto 10. This is my favorite card. Say what you want about Chris Paul. This is my guy. Uh, I know it's rookie auto-ish, but you just don't see this card. I mean, I know P Mint 9 alone, I think it's like a Pop 2 or something like that. And But this is Pop 1 with the auto 10. So I have Pop 1 Chris Paul. I love this card. And let me shine a little bit of light on it. Look at that. Look at this card. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is my guy. If you cannot tell, this is my guy. And I was beyond hyped to get this card. Sorry, like I said, never going to leave my collection. Don't ask, because I will not get rid of it. This will always stay. This has its own little display in my room behind me. If you can see the eBay authentication thing, it sits right there with a bunch of other Chris Paul inserts and all that as a little shrine. But yeah, never going to get rid of this card. It's amazing. I love it. Love Chris Paul. Hell of a player gonna go down as one of the greats and yeah uh so yeah happy new year guys this was just a video to show my favorite pickups of the whole year i hope you enjoyed seeing my collection go ahead and comment what your biggest pickup of this year was and yeah let's keep this momentum going guys these past couple months of youtube have been insane uh if you're new like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you all very soon with a another um chrome update opening i know we're probably getting a little bored of baseball 
I'm not, but maybe y'all are, and maybe we'll try and get some basketball, but nothing really new is out right now. So, yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.